we're likely to get a recession either late this year or early next year. Although, you know, the jury's still out with regard to data that would support that. But certainly if they keep rate hiking rates and inflation is not abated here, they will hike rates until they get on top of it. So that will have an impact on the food prices. It'll also have a real impact on um, mortgage rates, which should take uh, um, which should take real estate down in value. We talked about mortgage rates and Canadians borrowing. You know, right now, the five-year uh, fixed mortgages in Canada, they're based on the five-year Government of Canada bond. Well, right now, five-year mor uh, fixed mortgages are, I believe, around 4.5%. A five-year variable rate mortgage is around 2.5%. So that's a difference of 2%. What I think you may want to watch for, and what your listeners may want to watch for, is what do we see in the coming weeks and months? Do we start to see that variable rate mortgage go up so it's equal to the five-year fixed rate mortgage? If that's the case, I think you could, you know, it's a simple question of supply and demand. Right now, you know, the real estate market started to rise because there is not a lot of supply, but a lot of demand. I think with rates keep going up, you may start to see the consumer backing away from purchases and, you know, you might see real estate prices coming off here.